morning and welcome to Boarding Moments. I am so glad that you came to join us today. I have from Branson, Missouri, a singer, songwriter, writer, uh, an entertainer. He's been in entertainment uh, in in Branson for his him and his family over 50 years. It's amazing. <laughs> I'm glad to bring uh, to Morning Moments, Randy Plummer. Welcome, uh, Randy. Hey, hi, Andy. Nice to be here, man. Thank you for inviting me. You're, you're welcome. And uh, <laughs> tell us, you were telling me about uh, your little history of, of, of Branson and, and how you your family was involved. Tell me, what do you do and why do you do it? Okay. I do this because I feel like this is where God has placed me at this point in my life to do. Uh, but going back, uh, I'll make all this come together. Um, I came here in 1971 from Southeast Missouri and on a family vacation. And we ended up buying a theater in 1972 and opened our own show in 1973 called the Plummer Family Country Music Show. And this was along with my dad, Daryl Plummer, my mom, Rosie Plummer, my sister, Melody, and myself and Harley Clements. And we had a theater here. For 18 years right here on 76 highway i'm pointing because i live right across the street from it yet <laughs> i live right in the middle of branson and i love it i've been here oh coming up on 50 years and um anyway but i feel like the lord wanted me to be here and i'm still here and even after we sold the theater in 1990 i just felt like the lord wanted me to stay uh all my family lived back in Southeast Missouri over around Knob Lick. It's just a little country community uh, north of the Boot Hill. And, uh, but I felt like the Lord wanted me to stay. And every year he's opened up a door for me to be able to perform uh, gospel music and country music and uh, to entertain here. But through it all, it's, it's a true ministry for the Lord. And I'm very, very honored to get to be here. There's a difference in just being an entertainer and then and being it in a ministry. Uh, oh yes, sir. And there's some I don't think ever get out of the entertainment area. <laughs> but yeah. but really, when when you turn it over to the Lord, say God, whatever, you, you, then it becomes not that it can't be entertaining, but uh, it, it really there's some fruit that takes place when when you when you surrender it to ministry. That's right. That's right. I feel like when you truly surrender, the Lord opens up opportunities, doors that you didn't dream. And just like you, when you surrender and the Lord brought all these people for you to interview, that's when God does something like that, you, you just know it's beyond you. It's something he put together and he's in control. And the older I get, the more I see it's not about me at all. It's all about him. And you know what? That's fine with me. <laughs> So it's exciting. It's an exciting life to live for the Lord. And did you find that some people uh, came to Branson for the entertainment just to be entertained and then left with so much more, you're able to reach, reach them for the Lord? Yes. Yes, I do. I, I feel like there's been a, been a purpose in doing this. And, oh, yeah, I think a lot of people have come here and maybe just, you know, wanting to have a good time. but through it all they've heard about the lord and they i don't know how many people it's told but you know it's just such a so many christians here and so free to talk about god and not have to you know like you know can't say yeah. jesus yeah. because you know it's like so what you know i we just want to proclaim him and i feel like branson that is our main thing here is uh, is to uplift the lord and to show him to people and for them to take that back and do what the Lord wants to do with their lives. There's no greater calling, I think, than to be used of the Lord to see him using you, whether you're watering or planting, uh, doing your, your morning program. It, it's sowing seeds. You, you do not know what all it's going to come to until you get up there before the Lord and you find out how he used you, you know? So we just put it out there, don't we, Andy? <laughs> yeah. One of, one of yeah. my favorite, favorite songs about that uh, is CC uh, uh, Winan sung the song. And uh, so it's, it's Greg Long did the same song called 15. 
and in the song it says that there must there may be 15 times somebody hears about Jesus before they make the decision. I could be number five. I could be number 10. I could be 15. And you never know where you are in that. Sometimes it's just getting, getting that God loves you and he's got a plan for your life or, or, or uh, just uh, encouraging words to get people thinking about it. And that's what sometimes the songs and entertainment will do. It may not have that everybody come to the altar call, and and come come like you would see in church but but it's that constant moving of the holy spirit in somebody's lives yes that that's right i um, love is what it takes to really get it through i really don't like uh when i've seen a bumper sticker or whatever that says god loves you and i'm trying Ooh. <laughs> I, I, that just goes over me. I don't like that. It's, you never should make someone feel like, well, I'm only loving you because, you know, God told me to otherwise, yeah. you know, it, it's, I don't think that's right. Uh, you just love them because you love them. And we're used to bring people to the Lord. And after they get saved then the Lord gets like fish, he'll clean them and, you know, do what he needs to do with them. It's, it's our business to, uh, show Jesus to them, however, and it's always to be in love. Even if you know the answer, it can be said in wrong ways. Uh, just like someone that says, well, I, you know, take this because I don't want you to rob me of my blessing. Mm, it's, it's like, it's almost like you're, makes the person feel like you're doing a banking with them. You know, yeah. you know if yeah. I give this you, so God's going to probably go give me something. Just live, love them and live it out and let God take about you know, take care of who gets blessed and who gets rewarded. You know, I think of the 58 years I've been a Christian, the, the one thing that, uh, that just still amazes me. And I, I, I mentioned this quite often in interviews is how much God loves me. I, I, I that is, that is the, the, the human factor that's hard for me to get a hold of in my head. I don't know about you, but that God loves me so much. And there's nothing I could do yep. to make him love me anymore or any less than he does right the second. That's and right. uh, that's a, that's, uh, that's what uh, the kind of love God has that once you, and, and sometimes people, I think we have a hard time following Christ or following him because we don't know his nature. We don't know God. And once we know mm -hmm. God, we don't serve him because like you said, well, I'm going to give to get, that's not the reason to give. I give just because I love him and yes. it'll come back, press down, shake it together, run on over back to us. Right. That's right. I, that's, that's how it is, man. I, I don't know. The older I get in the Lord, the more I see what great love. I mean, I, it's just so far beyond my thinking to think that God literally came in human flesh to show his great love for us. I mean, he created us. He just could have wiped us out and started again. Yeah. And yet, Jesus, I mean, he really, when you really think about these things, I love it when I have those moments where something I've read in scripture, all of a sudden it becomes more alive. It's like, this was real. This is not, you know, reading a fairy tale book or something. It, this is really what happened and what confirms God's word to me is the fact that what book can you pick up and read that God has preserved for hundreds of years? You, that's a confirmation that God is at work. He's still working and he's not done. And it's not over till they say till it's over. And uh, a lot of things are going to happen. It's all there in the word. Randy, what would you say to people who are listening to this today and saying, I, I feel the tugging in my heart what do I do? How, how do I get to know him? Well, it's, it's like a relationship. Uh, if it's a married couple or a boyfriend, girlfriend, father, son, whatever, it's relationship. It's not, uh, well, I got to be good or God's going to be up there with a ball peen hammer going to hit me. Cause I used to think of him like that, yeah. uh, that that was my fault, not his. Uh, but God loves us. And he really did send Jesus to die to claim us, to bring us back to him. We came from him. And if we know the Lord, we're going to go right back to him. We're going to be part of the marriage supper of the lamb, a great feast, a great time to be with Jesus. He made a way for us to, to be with him forever. 
And it's just a matter of repenting, asking Jesus to come in your heart and to save you and to claim that. And when the devil tries to go, nah, you really didn't do that because I got hit with that hundreds of times. That's a bunch of baloney on the devil's part. You just have to keep going. I overcome by the blood of the Lamb of Jesus and the word of our testimony. And Jesus is the word of our testimony and his blood he shed for us. He made a way because he loves us so much. And this is really real. This is not phony. So don't worry about having to join the local church. You don't have to have your name on a, on a membership uh, card or something. You don't have to do that. Get to know him personally with a personal relationship. Spend time with him. Just like getting to spend time with you, Andy. This is great. I'm getting to know you better. You, you know, got a good relationship going. I hope to, whether I ever do another interview or not, I, I enjoy fellowshipping and that's part of the, part of the deal. So all this to say, Jesus is alive and Jesus is with us right now. He is with us right now, I guarantee you, along with some of his angels, they're here and he wants relationship. So just ask him to come into your heart, to be your Lord and Savior, turn from sin, turn to him, and keep pressing in to Jesus. And he'll do things, you know, I don't want to sell, I don't want to sound like I'm trying to sell a new car or an old car. I'm just trying to tell the truth. And it's Jesus and him crucified and accepting him. That's, that's your ticket to heaven. That's how you get there. Folks, I'm going to be putting down, and you've probably seen them already, uh, down, down in the uh, uh, the bottom part or flash across your screen, the websites that you can go to, Facebook pages and all. Uh, we haven't even talked about uh, Snow Deer uh, that, mm -hmm. that uh, uh, Randy has written, and you've got to check that out. Uh, please do check that out. Look at his website. See where he's performing and also what he's doing now and uh, keep tr uh, keep track of what he's doing god's got god's not done with us yet is he and no he, sir no, he's got sir. some great things in store for randy and for myself so please check those websites out uh then pass this interview on if you know somebody that needs it i, I just felt in my heart that somebody needed to hear about how to find christ and I don't do it every every interview but this time I just felt like it was and 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 if you need to pass this on to somebody that that needs to hear it please do so before before we close today I do want to say I, I want you to take the time when this interview is over and pray for Randy Plummer that God would continue to use him God that that God would just use him right right where he's at he's going to be reaching people in Branson you'll never be able to reach but God's put him there for a plan, purpose, and hope, and he's got a plan, purpose, and a hope for you. So be praying for Randy. Randy needs the prayer, and you need the practice. So keep praying for him. And uh, thank I you need both. <laughs> you need, need both. Randy, thank you so much for joining us for Morning Moments. It's been my honor, Andy. Thank you. And God bless you all. And thank you. And God bless the uh, listening audience, too. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Keep coming back if you would for some more morning moments.